Hello. It's the fourth act. I'm Alex, and that's Phil. And there's a brand new TV show, Choo Choo, and its way to your television set at home. Oh, oh. It's the TNT original series, Snowpiercer. Is it really original though? It's based on the movie. The movie is based on a French graphic novel, so what do you know? Anyway, we're using this as an opportunity to revisit Bong Joon Ho's 2013 movie, Snowpiercer. Ground rules. We each have three points. We're now we're going to take turns going back and forth. If we agree with each other, we get a Thomas the Tank Engine above our heads. Oh! If we disagree, we get a Red X. I love Thomas the Tank Engine. So did I. We should do the movie. I hope we agree on everything. I'll start off. The cinematography in this is excellent. All right. When you think about a train car, it is very narrow. It's hard to kind of shoot from different angles that make it enticing and exciting to watch, right? But there's so many sequences in this, like the night vision sequence, when the poor are fighting the elite soldiers, and even the beginning when they're navigating through the poor's bunks and they're going through the, the tight quarters. Everything is shot in a way where it just adds to the tension of the story. I didn't really feel like the cinematography was anything that's, I've seen movies that take place in trains before. When they finally get to the end and like the final, final train car, it feels so big, so much larger than life. And it's basically the same size as all the other train cars, but you feel like you're just a small little poor passenger that, on the train. I would credit that more to the to the design of the trains. Oh, I think I think it has to do with the camera and the way it's look, shot. I don't want to... I'm not being negative here. I just don't agree with you. Like, it was fine. <laughs> Did you like the cinematography in Parasite? Yeah, I thought it was beautiful. Same cinematographer as Snowpiercer, all right? I didn't Get educated. Know. As usual, I just have a lot of questions here. Oh, What's the gosh. deal with the train? Why does it? Why it's do they train. have to be moving? Who maintains moving the Moving creates track? friction in the in the train. It creates energy. Why can't they all just be still inside somewhere and just have a whole ecosystem in there? You, you can, can make friction train? without making a train, Phil. Why does it have to go no, all the way around the, the world? Uh, look, I had some no, questions of the film because like, who's maintaining the tracks, right? They answered They're all that. on the train. Well, when did they answer that? No, no, no okay, no they, no, they didn't answer that. Ha! I'm fine with believing everything that I'm told to believe about the train itself. But no. why is it a train? He liked trains and he came up with the <laughs> idea to save humanity. I don't know. Disagree. <laughs> when they got to the sequence where like, they're going through the train cars pretty quickly, the, the wealthy train cars, I loved it. They were all so distinctive and so imaginative. Like there's the fishies in the pool. <laughs> the fishies in the pool. <laughs> there was like the restaurant, of course, ecosystem. It's just really cool. So beyond the theme of watching the society progress and yeah. seeing what, what they didn't know existed beyond their sight, mm -hmm. uh, it is. It's just satisfying to see the different. Uh, uh, the different creative choices they make in these confines of the train car. Love looking at those train cars. It's so cool. Very creative. Yes, I agree. Curtis, my friend, do you think that we might dispense with the restraints for this next section? I'm not your friend. And why would I? Uh, for, the, for the sake of the young. I was surprised by this, but um, more towards the beginning of the movie, the action, I didn't like the action very much. It was full of a lot of unnecessary shaky cam, there was a lot of cutting, I didn't know what was going on in a few of these action scenes. You're not really supposed to know what's going on in the thing. I think that adds the narrative of how the poor it people don't know what's going on. No, no, that's a reach. <laughs> I did not have a hard like time following this. I, I think it did contribute. I think also too, as they get more deeper into the train, the, the better parts, the elite, the camera, I think, get stabilized to showcase that, I think also. So I think it really feeds into the narrative perfectly. I don't know what's going on, where people are. The That's how action becomes mindless and meaningless not to me. Not meant to be fun to watch, and it's meant to be that's intense. Never, that's never what you want when you're doing action. It's just not. I disagree. I like following the characters in a story. The character development's very important to me as a writer. But I want to focus on the relationships in this because the relationships, of course, are derived from the character development of the specific character. But each character in this has such a cool interwoven life and arrangement with all the other characters in the train that it, it's such a nice puzzle to watch it all come together. It's so heavy and it's so revealing. At the same time, it's satisfying, but also just disgusting. Yeah, I was surprised the second time watching this. I had forgotten a lot of the character work in this movie, and it really is great. Jamie Bell's uh, character feeds into uh, Chris, Evans, Chris Evans' Evans. question of leadership. Mm -hmm. His relationship with Kang Ho Song is uh, really surprising. Completely forgotten that. They have a wonderful scene at the end. I've been hard on this movie, but it's a really great movie, and yes. it is very largely in part to that. So we I didn't get in like the, strongly agree with you. The thick details of it, because yes. if you haven't seen it in a while, you could watch it again and appreciate it, because you'll see new things mm -hmm. when you watch it. You're gonna feel that. 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 You
There's a very popular theory on the internet that this is just a very stealthy sequel to 1971's Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. The danger must be growing for the rowers keep on rowing and they're certainly not showing any signs that they are slowing. I think it's a fantastic theory. You know, we have Wilford at the front of the train. He's the big boss. He's got the W logo, very reminiscent of a certain his, his name's Wilford. Willy Wonka logo. They're going through each train, test after test. Wilford is looking for a successor to take his place. The theory says that that's really just an old Charlie Buckets who has now gone mad with power and turned his candy empire into a train that circumnavigates the globe, which is very much a Willy Wonka thing to do, might I point out. Oh. And all I want to say about this is that the TV series is coming, and I and I just I hope they stay true to that. I don't need that to be confirmed. Obviously, it's ridiculous. It's a batshit crazy theory, but I just I want it to be present in the TV show. No! It's fine. I expected that. You lose. Good day, sir. There you have it. It's our score. Two Thomases. Fun facts: His middle name is Thomas. And four red X's. We don't agree on much. That's the name of the show, though. I hope we agree on everything. But we'll move on to rattle off points. We, got we will chuck a shoe forward. Oh, oh. Just an umbrella statement of this. I felt forever changed watching this film. It's like just one of those really important films that came out in the 2010s. Tilda Swinton was Veruca Salt, like an old, an older Veruca Salt from Willy Wonka. <sighs> After seeing Parasite and then rewatching this, I can just tell that Bon Joon Ho really loves doing stories about the wealth gap. Kind of like Scorsese with the Italians and the gangsters and the cannolis. I'm a little bit surprised that Disney let Chris Evans take this role while he was Captain America. He is talking about eating people and that babies taste the best. I know what people taste like. He's his own person. He has free will. Does he when you're working for Disney though? Uh, we, we don't want to go there. <laughs> I don't do drugs, but I'd be down to sniff some Chrono. I have some Krona right here. Do you just carry Let's it in a Play-Doh can, or is it Play-Doh? <laughs> nah, it's just Play-Doh. Just give me it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know they found out that they were eating cockroaches the whole time, but if I'm being honest, if I didn't know what they were eating, if I didn't know and I thought it tasted good, I really wouldn't care. But if you did know, would you still? I would just... I, I don't Harvey Weinstein wanted Bon Joon Ho to cut the film down by like a half hour and there's a scene in the yeah. movie where the elite soldiers like take out a fish and gut the fish in front of the poor people. It's meant to be intimidating, and Bong Joo Ho wanted to keep that in there. And the lie that he made up to Wan Sin was that his father was a fisherman, and that scene was for his father to pay homage to him. And Wan Sin bought it Big like a lie. sucker. And I just love that story. That's it for this act. Thanks for watching. We'll make more videos in the future. And the comment, what's the comment? What are we gonna? Oh, ask oh, about? oh, oh. Uh, in uh, in no less than ten sentences. Please describe why or why not America needs a high speed rail network system like Europe. Yes, urban planning. Get yes. to it. We're gonna change the world. It's and like and subscribe or don't because you have free will.